Out in the silent darkness between the stars a ghost stirred, not a supernatural event, but a testament to human ingenuity. NASA's Voyager 1, our farthest and oldest emissary, had fallen silent. For days the line connecting us to this incredible machine, stretching across 15 billion miles, was dead. Mission Control sent commands but only silence answered. Had we finally lost it? Then, the impossible? A faint whisper broke through the cosmic static. The spacecraft, acting on its own, switched to a backup S-band transmitter, a relic from 1981. It was like finding a message in a bottle floating in the cosmic ocean for over four decades. I'm still here. This event in October 2024 was more than a technical recovery. It was survival against all odds. A signal from Voyager 1 takes nearly a full day to reach us. Every command is a 45-hour round trip into the unknown. The engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory were performing remote surgery on a patient billions of miles away. The faint signal wasn't strong enough for science data but it was a lifeline, proof of life. It told us the spacecraft's core was still functioning, its computer brain still thinking, waiting for instructions. It was a call for help from the deepest part of space we've ever touched. This single weak transmission opened the door for one of the most remarkable rescue operations in space exploration. It set the stage for a team of dedicated humans to reach across the solar system and coax their aging explorer back to health. Against all odds, Voyager 1 had spoken again. The adventure was far from over. To appreciate this comeback, let's rewind to 1977. NASA launched Voyager 1 and 2 on the Grand Tour, a rare planetary alignment that happens once every 176 years. Using gravity assists, they visited Jupiter and Saturn, revealing the Great Red Spot, Volcanic Io, Saturn's Rings, and Titan's Haze. After Saturn, Voyager 1's planetary mission ended, but its journey continued, out of the plane of the planets, toward interstellar space. Attached to Voyager 1 is the Golden Record, a 12-inch gold-plated disc with greetings in 55 languages, music and sounds of Earth, a time capsule for the cosmos. It's a message in a bottle hoping to connect with distant intelligence. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause entering interstellar space, the first human-made object to do so. Now, it samples the cosmic rays and magnetic fields of the galaxy itself. Its mission transformed from planetary science to pure exploration. Voyager 1 is our only direct probe of this unknown territory. It's a silent sentinel, sailing through the outer reaches of our sun's influence. The journey continues, deeper into the great unknown, and with every mile it carries our story farther than ever before. The crisis began with a simple command on October 16, 2024. Engineers at JPL sent instructions, but Voyager 1's fault protection system detected a power spike and shut down the main X-band transmitter. Suddenly, the line went dead. At mission control, silence stretched for hours, then days. Was this the end? The deep space network strained to hear anything from 15 billion miles away. Then, a whisper. The backup S-band transmitter unused since 1981 came online. Voyager's autonomous brain had diagnosed the problem and switched to its emergency backup. The signal was too weak for science data but it was a dial tone, confirmation that Voyager 1 was alive. With this faint connection, the real work began. Engineers had to diagnose the fault using only basic telemetry, careful not to make things worse. Every command was a risk, every step a puzzle. The process would take weeks of analysis and planning. This was not a quick fix, but the start of a long, delicate conversation with an old friend across an unimaginable distance. The team's patience and ingenuity would be tested as never before. But hope had returned. The October 2024 crisis wasn't Voyager's first brush with disaster. Keeping a 50-year-old spacecraft running is a masterclass in remote engineering. In November 2023, Voyager 1 began sending gibberish. Its science data turned to nonsense. The team became digital archaeologists, diagnosing a computer problem on a machine with less memory than a car key fob. They traced it to a single faulty memory chip and ingeniously rewrote the code to avoid the bad section. By March 2024, Voyager was back online. The challenges didn't stop there. Its primary thrusters degraded, so in January 2024, engineers fired up backup thrusters unused for 37 years. They worked perfectly, keeping the antenna pointed home. In May 2025, another set of backup thrusters was revived. Each fix is a triumph of creativity and persistence. The original engineers are mostly gone, 
a new generation pours over decades-old schematics to keep Voyager alive. This pattern of revival is the hallmark of the modern Voyager mission. Through sheer cleverness, the team refuses to let our connection to the stars fade. Voyager's survival is a testament to human ingenuity. For all its resilience, Voyager 1 faces an unbeatable foe time. It runs on three nuclear batteries, RTGs, that lose power every year as plutonium decays. When launched, they provided 470 watts. Now, it's a fraction of that. The team must make tough choices, shutting down instruments to conserve power. It's managed decline, deciding which senses to sacrifice so the mission can continue. Each instrument that goes dark is a window to the cosmos closing forever. Shutdowns have already begun, plasma and particle instruments on both Voyagers have been turned off. These are our eyes and ears in interstellar space. Soon the spacecraft will lack power for science, then even for heaters to keep its systems alive. When the antenna can no longer point home the final signal will fade into the cosmic background. The end is inevitable but every extra day is a victory. Why fight so hard to keep Voyager alive? Because it's our only direct sensor in interstellar space. Before 2012, everything we knew about this region was theory. Voyager is giving us ground truth data. It studies cosmic rays, high energy particles from distant supernova, helping us understand the galaxy's life cycle. This data is crucial for future missions beyond Earth's magnetic shield. Voyager also measures the interstellar magnetic field, revealing a turbulent, dynamic environment. It's mapping the true, messy boundary of our solar system. Voyager 1 and 2 provide a unique, three-dimensional view of this frontier. Every packet of data is a priceless piece of a puzzle about our place in the Milky Way. These discoveries are rewriting textbooks and expanding our understanding of the universe. Voyager's mission is pure exploration at its finest. Its voice from the void is irreplaceable. The end is near. Soon the last science instrument will be turned off, and Voyager 1 will fall silent. This will mark the end of our first direct conversation with the galaxy. But Voyager's mission won't truly end, it will become our silent ambassador, coasting through the Milky Way for millions of years. It carries the golden record, a message of peace and curiosity, on a journey that may outlast humanity itself. Voyager's story is about us our curiosity, creativity, and desire to know what lies beyond. The engineers who keep it alive are heroes of exploration, working for the joy of discovery. As Voyager begins its long goodbye, let it inspire us. Even with ancient technology we can achieve the incredible. The universe is filled with wonders waiting to be discovered. Voyager 1 is more than a machine, it's a symbol of our reach for the stars. As it sails into the eternal night it carries a simple message. We were here. We were curious and we looked up.